Want to be an A student? We're an A student in high school and want to get back there? Well, making the jump from B's to A's is sometimes harder than most students think. If you are like many B students, your first attempt to get A's left you a little disappointed. You worked really hard, studied twice as much as usual, but in the end, you still got a B. This was probably really frustrating. So what happened? Well, to get B's usually just requires a lot of hard work. But to get A's, it's a qualitative difference. You have to change the way that you study. This video won't be able to cover the A-level strategies directly, but will address some of the challenges that you might face in transforming your learning from the B-level to the A-level. Keep in mind, you don't have to give up anything here. Your current study methods are getting you B's, and B's are perfectly okay. So you're going to keep using those strategies, but instead we're going to add some A-level strategies on to what you are already doing. When you start to learn any new skill, you're adding to the base of what you already do. You want to keep that going, but add new skills on top of it, and pretty soon they become part of your study toolkit. This way you can keep getting B's while you pursue the A's. You can probably do this because you have some spare time created by working hard to get those A's, and still only getting B's. You can back off a bit on the B-level studying and replace it with an A-level studying. Of course, if you don't have time to back off on the B-level studying, you're going to need to find a way to make the B-level studying more efficient. Some A-level strategies are also good for B-level studying, but faster, so you may consider some of those. There are a couple of hurdles in making the jump from B to A. First, you need to let go of old ways of doing things. What can sometimes happen is that students get stuck into ruts. They've been using a particular study strategy for so long, it's almost second nature. And when they face a new learning challenge, they just go back to the old skill. If that's a B-level studying approach, though, just simply doing that won't break you into the A-level. You actually have to let that old skill go and be willing to try something new. For some students, this can be really scary. You're not always guaranteed success. That's why I encourage you, keep your B-level study skills going and add in some of the approaches that are discussed in this video series. Second, these new ways are skills, and like any skills, take time to develop, so don't expect success overnight. Skill development is a nonlinear process. Skills are not acquired instantly, as you might expect, nor is skill development a nice, slow, and even process. In fact, it can be quite erratic. Even relapses occur, with long periods of struggling to get better and not seeing any improvement. In athletics, this is called the wall. Part of the reason why this happens is that when you're learning a new skill, some of the old skills are lost. For example, if you were learning to play tennis and you had mastered the forehand smash and your coach started to talk to you about your stance, for a while your forehand smash isn't going to be as good as it was before until you can integrate the new skill with the old skill. Intellectual skills are the same as physical skills in this respect. Your actual skills development curve could very well look like this. Even with massive relapses, this is normal. Don't get upset if you find this happening to you. Stick with it. You are up against the wall and just need to keep pushing. Third, don't expect A's right away. Give it some time. Like anything, this is going to take a while until you break into those A's. Please believe me, if I had the quick fix or some magic to give you that would get you those A's, I would of course share it with you. You may want to look at all of the other videos in this and other series and pick which A-level strategies you would like to start using first. Good luck.